what if you had a huge plot lying around and you wanted to quickly fence it? Well, this project has brought me to Isiolo Masabit Road and it's a six acre fence that has been fenced using precast concrete panels. And because the client had a limit with his time, he wanted a one month project. You can see where this project is. It has taken like three weeks to fence 75% of the fence. And in about two weeks time, they'll be done with the fencing. So beside me is engineer Ian Kipto, who is in charge of this project. And he'll take us through uh, the six acre fence that has been done using the panels. So Ian, welcome back to the channel again. Asante. Okay, yeah. so give us some background about this project. Ah, okay. Um, this uh, this uh, project uh, entails fencing uh, using precast. I think the total meters is about 634 meters. And now we are fencing it entirely using precast. So the client had a very short time frame and then he wanted to to try out using precast. So we gave him a solution. Uh, we put one panel at, at the lower, uh, below the ground level, and then four panels up. So initially we had given him the option of stone, but now the client preferred uh, preferred using panels now entirely for the entire fence. So the client initially wanted stone walls, but he instead opted for the precast panels. So what would be the main advantage he felt uh, by using this technology? First is time, and then also the, it's, it's a permanent fence. Uh, then also scale. Uh, it's a six acre piece of land, and uh, getting to do the entire six acres using stone would have taken at least four or five months. And yeah. then uh, this is kind of a remote area, so even labor is a bit uh, difficult to come by. So which is why he also opted for precast. So there are many factors. Okay. Yeah. So this fence is, uh, what we see is uh, four panels put together. Yeah. And then there's a panel underneath. Yes. So is it five panels uh, on top of each other? Yes, it's five panels on top of each other. Uh, bringing the total height to? Uh, the height is just 2.4. Yeah. But then one panel is inside to, to, to act as a foundation. Okay, yeah. I think we'll talk about that when we go to the place where the panels have been put for the foundation. Yes, yes. So for now, mm -hmm. I wanted us to talk about uh, bringing the panels all the way from Kingdom Precast in Nairobi to here, to, to Isiolo. How do you manage the logistics of that? Uh, okay, we did the, uh, a cost analysis for the client. Definitely, it has costed cheaper to transport them in bulk using a trailer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he has brought around five, six trips for up to where we are today. So, that is a cost-effective way yeah. of transporting. And like uh, the six trips would have been about 18 trips for the trucks. Yeah. So, even the cost would have tripled. Tripled, eh? Yes. And how many trucks are remaining now to completely fence the six acres? Around four. Around four. Yeah, one came in today, so we have uh, expected three more. Three more. Yeah. So you would say it would take like 10 trucks in total? Yeah, approximately. Approximately? Yes. That includes the panels and the hedge columns? Yes, yes. Ah. Yeah, so here we didn't transport any stone, we didn't use any steel reinforcement. So this is purely a precast fence. Yes. Yeah, we only use cement, ballast, sand. Yeah. Okay. So... How many panels are we talking about to fence six acres? Okay, uh, in this case we, have, we, are use, we are using a total of 1,075 panels and uh, 234 H columns. 1,075 panels? Yes. 234 H columns? Yes. And do you have the figures at hand? Um, yeah, at the budget, uh, the client will spend approximately 5.5. Yes. 5.5 million. Yes, to, to build. To the fence the entire. Fence. Uh, yes. That includes the also the foundation works, the bases for the columns. Yes, labor, everything. So, Engineer Ian, how many panels and H columns fit inside a truck? 
Uh, a trailer carries uh, on full capacity 125 panel. I mean, H columns, 125 pieces. And if it's panels, it's uh, around 200 pieces okay. of panels. Is it a 20 foot truck or the 40 foot uh, trailer? The 40 foot. The 40 foot. Yeah. So the 40 foot trailers are the ones that came to this site. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. There's a feature behind us that I wanted you to expound on. Uh, these are two H columns that are brought together uh, to create a distinct, a distinct line separating uh, the two. Why uh, does a precast panel fence have this feature? Uh, okay, this is an expansion joint and it's there not only in the precast but also the normal columns. Yeah, so it helps once you have uh, long spans, they are put in between to, to help separate the, the two. So like uh, in this case, we put it after every 30 meters. So all along this side, we have like uh, around six on either side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every 30 meters? Yeah, every 30 meters we put a double. Yeah. Okay. But in areas where the foundation is like black cotton, you put it much nearer. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it depends the, mm -hmm. on the foundation. So the if it, okay. Ground. What are these soil? This is this is loam soil. It's not red soil. This is a mixture of clay and, so and red soil. So this is loam. So this is normal soil, you would say. Yeah. Uh, now, for uh, for black cotton soils, yeah. Uh, what would the what would be the intervals? Say fifteen meters. Oh, so it would be like half. Yes. What would be the span uh, between the one H column to the other H column? Uh, this is three meter spans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is that the recommended span? Yeah, that's that's the that's the farthest we can go with panels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because our panels are designed a maximum of three meters. Now, between uh, these two H columns, there's a panel that has been buried uh, beneath the soil level. Yeah. Would this now be the foundation for the rest of the, of yeah. the panels? Yes. Now this is what we have buried underneath. Then now we have concreted the columns. Then we would again concrete at the sides. So they would, the, the columns would hold the panels in place, mm -hmm. now in the foundation. And then now the top part would be held by the grooves in the columns. Uh -huh. But now for the lower one, it would be held together with the column. We would now concrete it all round. Yeah. And yeah. what would be the depth for this? The depth is around, is around two feet, 600. Oh, the, because the, that is, which is the width of the panel? Yes. Uh, yeah. Has blinding been done? Yes. To support yes. now the, the panel? Yes, we did blinding. Uh, yeah. Is this something that you recommend people do for their precast panel fences? Yeah, I could recommend uh, in such areas, you know, uh, there is no one, one solution to, for everything. Now, in this particular case, this was what was best uh, preferred by the client because now of the remote area and again uh, the accessibility, the labor. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is one solution among the many you can have. Okay. Yeah. Now I wanted to ask, uh, this being a remote area, we are in Isiolo. Yes. On the road heading towards Masabit yes. and water is a challenge here. Yeah. Because of using precast concrete panels, has there been any challenges with water? Have you used a lot of water here on, on these projects? Uh, true, we have used like around 70% uh, less water. Because uh -huh. uh, by the way, we have an issue with water. Yeah. So even getting water at the site, even to be able to do this now in the traditional way, would have been next to impossible. Yes. So this has really also saved in terms of the water use. Yes. To ensure the success of such a huge project like this, fencing six acres. I'm sure there were things you had to plan out in advance before you even came to site. So what, were, what was your planning initially before you started out this project? Uh, okay, um, first, uh, first and foremost, we, we, do, we do a design for the fence, then I'll provide estimates. Then uh, we're in discussion also with the client's technical person so we had a lot of back and forth so we, we we discussed about the design 
I was able to come visit the site and then now do my analysis and then now plan on uh, now mobilization once we once we, we got the go ahead to, to start. Mm -hmm. So we did the mobilization, we, we brought our team. Uh, so we just coordinated everything uh, together with the client. Uh, and the advantage of precast is it's easy, to, it's easy to, to, to pre plan and uh, thereafter take a short time implementing the project once you've handled over all, uh, all aspects of the project. So the advantage with precast is there are not so many contingencies. If it's uh, X number of panels, X number of columns, it is usually that. If there is a small variation, it's usually a slight. So that's the advantage with precast. It's easy to plan. So the client can know beforehand the cost. Yes. And not expect a lot of contingency in the end. Yes, yes. Beside us is uh, the corner. It's one of the corners of this plot. And there are, there are two H columns. Uh, so, why should a corner have two H columns? Uh, ah. Like the, in the same way as the expansion joint? Ah, okay, so uh, one H column is placed facing this way to allow the panels to be inserted that are going to this direction. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this other H column is placed. Uh, on the other side to allow for now these other panels to be inserted which are now going to this direction okay so they allow for, for a change of direction yeah yeah and uh, how did you ensure the same level for the entire fence uh okay i used the machine to to put the level across all the, the areas because uh, believe you me i like a the host pipe would have taken a very long period with mm -hmm. the inaccuracies so we this that was part of the planning yeah we also plan machinery to use to assist us to achieve the the site yeah so to achieve the same 2.4 meters height yeah throughout. across across the, the the farm okay yeah let's say I, i'm a client but time isn't an issue for me yeah. i can take as long as i want yeah but I have an idea to do a similar fence or a much smaller fence like a 40 by 60, 50 by 100 or a big fence like this one. But my issue is with cost. Now, is there a cost benefit using a precast panel fence and on top of that using a precast panel as a foundation where the rest of the panels will lie? Or how does it compare now to, stone, uh, to a stone wall or to a stone fence? Ah, okay. Uh, ideally, for the foundation part, uh, a square meter of stone is around 2,200 shillings per square meter. But uh, you see, for the panels per square meter, we, are, we have 1,300, 1,300 shillings. So that's where the per cost, square meter. Yes, that's where the saving comes in. But uh, some areas you find the quarries nearby, so stone is not an issue. So you can use stone. Uh, but you see in an area like this where stone is an issue, water and is it's an remote. issue. Yeah. So there are there are factors to, to assess. Okay. Yeah. And is it advisable to do a similar project but at, at a much lower scale, like for, for my plot which is forty by sixty, fifty by hundred, how does it compare? Yeah, you can do it for for whichever whichever scale you want. But the main thing is the analysis of the foundation. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you have if you have areas with black cotton or where, where you really need to strengthen your foundation, uh, I cannot advise. You just have to use the stone. Yeah. So um, it depends on the area, and uh, because some places where the foundation cannot allow uh, needs a strong foundation, you 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 have to use stone. There are even cases where I've put uh, two courses of stone beside each other to reinforce it. Uh, I remember a site in Kiambu where the height was over 1.5 meters and it was, a, it, was, it was an area on a hilly location. So it just it depends on the assessment you, you do for your foundation to see now which would work for you. So, but for this site, uh, because of the soil, yeah. doing the panel below ground was advisable, was suitable. Yes, yes this was the best case. And okay. this is the best uh, yeah, ideal so use. to achieve the time factor and also for the cost and, and the foundation the cost and the, also the the 
to be able to implement it. So guys, I hope you found this video informative and useful. This was a six acre fence that was done using precast concrete panels and hedge columns. Uh, the timeline was one month and so far 75% has been done in three weeks. Maybe you have a similar piece of land and you have this idea of fencing it permanently. So this is an eye opener. You can use this technology. You can fence your plot using precast concrete panels. I've gone to various sites showcasing fences, showcasing houses that have been built using precast concrete panels to create awareness, to educate you, and to show you that it can be done. If this has been done in Isiolo, then it can be done anywhere. It's not an issue of location, but I think it's an issue of perception and acceptance of alternative building technologies, and in this case, precast concrete panels. That's been it for this video. I'm Nick Moyama. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future video.